Hey guys, let us begin with the insight current affairs quiz. So we are beginning with the May month CA MCQs. In that the first topic is economy. First fact, FDI. So example for FDI is if a foreign entity setting up an education institute in India, which is an example of FDI. And the next fact is not influence. So which of the following? not influence the quantity demanded for a good for example the price of input into the production of good so the input cost will not determine the quantity of the product you will get right so that is what and the next fact is related to core inflation this is a measure of inflation which excludes item that face volatile price movement like food energy etc so headline inflation minus the uh, food or energy inflation is called core inflation and the next fact is about the tools used by RBI to control the inflation RBI uses tools like bank rate, moral suasion, liquidity adjustment facility, open market operation etc. all these things will help us to influence the bank to increase or reduce the interest rate and the next one is depreciation in rupee. It would negatively impact Indians in foreign education, crude import, foreign travel and also even investment abroad. And the next fact, fact is related to India's foreign exchange reserve. It includes effect of appreciation or depreciation of foreign currencies like Euro, Pound, Yen in the reserves. It's not just dollars, right? And the next fact is about the decrease in gold price. It will lead to decrease in India's foreign forex reserve. If the value of rupee depreciates, RBI, what it has to do? It has to sell the dollars from the forex reserve to increase our Indian currency's value. And triple S. So small savings scheme this is a scheme of central government which is running through post office, public sector bank and even few private banks. And what is this NSSF which is National Small Saving Fund which was started in 1999. So this particular fund is within the public accounts of India for pooling money from different SS scheme. And it does not affect the fiscal deficit of central directly because it is taken from public account not from the consolidated fund right and the next fact is about the FDI FDI it includes equity capital of unincorporated body foreign currency convertible ban bonds and then reinvesting profit earned from overseas, op overseas operation and then the last fact for today is about the SCRE foreign contribution regulation act so under this NGO they have only registered NGOs can take funds from this and everyone has to uh, need to open an open bank account in the SBI of New Delhi branch through which only the transaction have to take place. So that's all for today. Thank you.